Now, 37 years after Running Up That Hill was first released, the Kate Bush song has finally topped the charts, breaking the record for the longest time taken to reach number one. The song has been made popular again by its repeated use in the sci-fi TV show Stranger Things. Our arts and entertainment correspondent Katie Spencer reports. It is one of legendary singer-songwriter Kate Bush's finest. And who'd have thought 37 years after its release, running up that hill would reach number one? Because of this. Heavily featured in the new series of Stranger Things, an unexpected hit among Gen Zers who have given the song a new lease of life on TikTok, most of whom weren't even born when the original came out. Of course, for new fans, there's the small matter of the crushing disappointment when they discover that the elusive artist rarely performs live. Step forward tribute acts like Cloud Busting and singer Amanda Watson. We're like Max in Stranger Things. We've been in this parallel world for years. We talk about Kate Bush all the time. We, you know, eat, breathe and sleep Kate Bush. So sometimes you do talk to people and people, you can see them glassing over because they don't really get Kate. But now it's just, welcome to our world. But should Kate Bush actually have been number one last week? Now that charts incorporate streams to ensure they're fair and stop the domination of older artists whose songs are consistently being played, the record industry invented something called accelerated decline. It means a new record earns one sale when it's streamed 100 times on a subscription service, but older songs need to be streamed 200 times before a sale is counted. Which bizarrely meant, although Bush comfortably had the most streamed song in the UK last week with 2.5 million plays, Harry Styles ended up number one as he had a more favourable streams to sales ratio. But record labels can request a manual reset to that ratio in exceptional circumstances, which is what EMI did, levelling the playing field. It's good to give um, newer songs a chance, but I think this is quite a satisfying change because it is just something so out of the ordinary. The fact that a song from 1985 now has the chance to go to number one so many years after it was first released. <laughs> As soundtracks to summer go, it is one of the more haunting anthems you'll hear. But three decades on, the unique sound of one of Britain's most mysterious artists still endures. Katie Spencer, Sky News. Congrats to Kate Bush, number one. Uh, this is the News Hour at six. Uh, still to come, a great week for England's cricketers.